how much time is this worth screwing with? Let's see, that's a looks like a triple A laser. Three three five five. Three three five five. <sighs> now see. Do we just go ahead and pull the laser out of that one, put it in that, and, and see if it'll read? Or should we continue to try and screw around with that and try and figure it out? I mean, it'd be nice to know. But then again, you know, what's this, what's this worth? Is it worth that much time and effort? A we? Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. I mean, uh, these ones, the lasers are a little bit... A little bit trickier to change because you have a lot of stuff to get into to get to the laser. Yep, let me think about it. All right, I made a decision. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, board off of this drive the board off of this drive and transfer this one over to here. Uh, that'll tell us two different things. That'll tell us, uh, like I said, I'm not sure if uh, these ones, if the the board is coded for this complete this con this unit. I'm not sure about that anymore. It's been been a while. Uh, we can find out whether they're coded, and we can find out if our little motor here is good. I mean, I know it'll suck it in. That one right, right there. That's the one that drives our, our disc in and out. But it, it may not be working in reverse. It may work forward, but not reverse. Now, on, on this one, we have some wires that we have to unsolder to remove it. There's four right here, and two here for that little motor and this is for our rat gear motor that runs our laser back and forth and what I did was I made up a little diagram we have brown red and then we have white blue gray and yellow just like so so when we unsolder them uh, we know how they go back on in case you forget or well, in my case, it would be forget. We just have to remove all of our ribbon cables. We have this one for the for that little optical board, optical or whatever you want to call it, board on the top. And it's just a matter of getting our wires unsoldered. Without touching your ribbon cable. And we'll get these four. I mean, get us a little a little rope to get a hold of them. Hmm. 
Okay, one Phillips screw in the middle. We should be able to Jesus have clips. No, oh, there's another one. We have one more Phillips here. Yep, she'll just pick up and slide out from under those little clips. There's three clips down there. And there she is. Now I'm not going to write anything on this yet because we don't know for sure if that's bad or not. Uh, if we Once we get this one off of here and put on to that drive and if I find out that it is the board I will mark the board as bad bad board bad board and that way I know if I go to use it or cuz I'm I'll keep it around for parts cuz there's there's stuff on it you know that we could possibly use Okay, so I'm going to, I'll get this one off, off of here, and then we'll transfer it over to this drive. Why I'm doing it is because the drive mechanism in this one sounds and is a hell of a lot smoother than, than this one. This one was sounding a little rough and, and just not as good of a drive it's got a I think it's either got a little more wear to it or it's dirty
All right, oh, let me back you up a hair. There we go. All right, now we can now we can put some power to it. And let's get it turned on. Okay, it's spinning. Let's see if it'll give us our disc back. Yes. Now it gives us our disc back. Okay, so that rules out that little motor being bad on that other drive. Uh, we're going to have to get some AV going here. Oh, I got to hook it up on the TV. That's right, I was testing out something else that I needed my multi for real quick and I forgot to swap it over okay give it a second I don't feel like hooking everything else up man I like the way that one takes it in Okay, spinning it up, and we are looking at that right there, which comes up Wii Sports. So, that tells us the other thing that we were, we and mainly me, was wondering is if they had coded the board for the CPU in this. But obviously not, so you can take a take a drive out of one and put it in another one and still have a good working Wii. If you don't feel like uh, changing the laser and you have a spare one sitting around. Uh, as long as it uh, this one is a GN D4TM 4JN. Uh, the one we took the board out of has the same laser because we looked at our numbers on our laser ribbon here and they are the same and see this is a GN the other two I have are KN and dirty KN and you can see how this ribbon cable for the laser runs over to there and here's the this is the board off of a GN. So it's kind of lucky I had a had another GN. And see this one is a N. And that has the same type of laser as the other one I, I just had up here. So if that you know if that means anything as far as what the style is uh, but uh, you know you get your numbers off of your laser ribbon here your laser is tucked under that little metal that little aluminum guard guard shielding whatever see on this one <clears throat> even to change the laser you still have to take your board off so you can get at this take that off so you can get to your laser <coughs> excuse me so now we have a good working Wii. I know <sighs> you know it, it, I hate to and I really don't feel like troubleshooting one of these little dudes you know because obviously up here this is our motor you know so it could be there's another little optical here and here and you know it, it could be one of these three chips um, probably I'm gonna say it's probably controlled by this little chip here seeing as though it's the closest to it um, that's just a kind of a theory I'm going on 
you know, so it may be this chip here, you know, we could change it out and take it off of that one, but why take the chance of screwing up a another good one that's working and that was off of a parts drive, so that's perfect to, to just pull it off of that one and put it on this drive since this is a good quiet drive you know she she pulls in and out really nice so that's what we're gonna go with I know it's not a whole bunch of troubleshooting and it's not a, a real I guess it's not a real fix from what I understand you know so whatever So I'm going to wash up some <laughs> I'm going to wash up some cases and some panels and get these get everything all cleaned up and then we can get it put back together and we'll have a good working wee wee So I'll bring you back after I got it all um all my crap cleaned up <laughs>
All right, we got her all cleaned up. I got a moat here. I uh, still got to find a lanyard or a, a tether for this one. Oh. Get that sunk up. Oh, let's put in. Let's put in sport. And we'll test GameCube on it too. There we are. Now trust me, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play much, if any. Create a save file. No. Continue without saving. Yes. Okay. Select number of players. One. Uh, let's get this a little goober here with some funny hair. Something I wish I had. He looks just gorgeous. Okay, it gives me a chance to test out this moat too. Okay, let's see, start the game, hold we yeah. A and B. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, let's see, switch. Yeah. Okay, raise the remote and hold the B. Okay. Ha ha ha. Nice throw. Not bad for a rookie. Okay, yeah, A. We wanna and then B. Nah. See if I can roll a straight ball. <laughs> Watch out for the wheelbarrow. Don't trip over the apple cart. <laughs> ah! Oh! -hoo. Locked out. Ooh, moving right along here. What do you think, guys? I think I have a chance of ah, being a professional wee bowler. frame. There it is. Nah. <laughs> Dookie. Let's see if we can pick this up. Oh, <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> Alright, I'm 
I'm sorry, I had to hit one more. Ah, okay. So you see she's working. And we got her all cleaned up. Uh, power brick. Can you see that? Let me scoot you over a little bit. Power brick, we got her, got everything all cleaned up. You know, a lot of people complain about when you buy used stuff that's non-working, that it's uh, so filthy. Well, you know, if it was working, somebody would clean it up so they could get more out of it. You know, so you're, when you buy used stuff, it's either non-working or just at an auction or an estate sale or a yard sale, it's going to be filthy. Like I said, this one, I think this one, I think I said, uh, yeah, I, this one I did pick up at the auction, and it was disgusting. It's just been sitting in somebody's house that smoked, and it was, you know, nasty. It's stained now. I mean, that tar nicotine sat on it so long it's got it stained, but it, it, it looks really nice. It cleaned up good, works good. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you like these types of videos, oh, before, before we sign off here, I said I was going to try a GameCube disc in this. Let's make sure. Suck that little feller right in. That's a good working drive, I'll tell you. Yep, there's GameCube. All right. So, yeah, you can see everything works on it. So, I hope to see you on the next video when we'll get into something else. We want something else. We want something else. So until next time, see ya.